What is up guys, Joey here from Ben's Got a Boat, and today I'm bringing you a complete solo guide to the new Terraria 1.1 bosses. This video can take a while, so I'm going to try to go as quick as possible. So without any further ado, let's get the video started. The first thing that we are going to need is greater healing potions. Greater healing potions heal for 50 more than normal healing potions and are crafted with bottled water, pixie dust, and crystal shards. Crystal shards are found in the underground hallowed and pixie dust is a drop from pixies in the above ground hallowed. The second thing we are going to need is an iron skin potion. Iron skin potions are crafted from iron ore, day bloom, and bottled water. Iron skin potions raise your defense by 10 points for 5 minutes. The best way to get day bloom for your iron skin potions is to make a farm. Once you're done with potions, you should focus on accessories. I suggest Spectre Boots, Philosopher's Stone, and Obsidian Shield. The other two don't matter as long as they give plus defense or plus mana. Once you've gotten all your potions and accessories, we're going to need to get a full set of adamantite gear. You're going to want the adamantite helmet because it gives way more defense than the other helmets and it's going to help us with the melee damage. The next thing you're going to need is an adamantite chainsaw. This is crafted at the mithril anvil and so is the adamantite armor. I also suggest getting a laser rifle. This will help you kill the probes and is dropped from the wall of flesh. The next thing we're going to need is a mechanical worm. A mechanical worm summons the destroyer and is crafted with 5 copper bars, 5 iron bars, 7 souls of night, and 6 rotten chunks. Now we're going to have to build the arena. I suggest building a well lit enclosed space. There will be some mobs, but it will be easy to deal with. We're going to use this arena for all 3 bosses. I suggest part of the arena having an open bottom not not open but like space below it open so that you can judge where the destroyer is coming from so now if it's night time you're ready to summon the boss okay so once you're ready to summon him you want to pop your iron skin potion and use your mechanical worm you see i have my healing potion at the on the hot bar that's because if you accidentally pick up mushrooms in your uh in your spawning not spawning in your arena um, they will go to your hotbar and you'll use them instead of the greater healing potion when you hit H. Um, because of this, I don't know if it's the smartest thing to make your, your, uh, arena out of dirt. Maybe stone would be better, but, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as you put your healing potions on the hotbar. So, during the fight, you want to avoid its head as frequently as possible because it does more damage than all of the other parts of his body. The other parts of his body do around 4 damage which isn't very much at all you can pretty much take that all day but uh... the head does around like thirty damage and that can add up uh... the probes that spawn always drop a heart so they're really useful you want to kill them as soon as possible so you can get more uh... i suggest using the laser rifle because it can go through the destroyer and still hit the probes and um... it doesn't use ammo which is always a good thing uh... you want to kill him you want to end the fight when his head is above ground because that's where all the loot will go I didn't do that in this fight because uh, I wasn't really thinking and I, I already have a bunch of the stuff so I don't really need more. Uh, what else to do? do. Oh, I know there's more I wanted to say. Jesus, what am I missing? Oh yeah, you want to summon him as early as you can in the night because the fight can take a pretty long time using this gear. Uh, I barely finished the fight and I summoned him pretty much right at the beginning. So yeah, that could um, that could be really disappointing if you get him down to like 20,000 health and the night just ends because he will just disappear and you will be screwed. Um, uh, once you kill the once you kill the twins, the Eye of Cthulhu new boss, uh, you can get a magical heart. The magical heart like goes it it makes these magical notes and they go through as many objects as they can 
So you can kill the uh, destroyer really quickly with those, and you can kill them like twice in a night, pretty pretty easily. Okay, so the destroyer drops coins and anywhere from 20 to 30 souls of might. What you're gonna want to do with your souls of might is make a mega shark. This is made with illegal gun parts, souls of might, shark fins, and a mini shark. For the fight, we're going to use crystal bullets. These are made from musket balls and crystal shards. We're going to need about a thousand of them. These are really useful because they can go through both eyes and they do a ton of damage. Now we're ready to craft the mechanical eye. The mechanical eye is crafted from three lenses, five iron bars, five copper bars, and seven souls of light. The three accessories you need for the twins are Spectre Boots, Philosopher's Stone, and either Angel Wings or Demon Wings. The other two should be plus defense. We're going to go ahead and use the top of the arena we already built for the Destroyer for the twins fight. Okay, so when you're ready to fight the twins, you want to pop your Iron Skin Potion and use a Mechanical Eye to summon them. Basically what you want to do is you want to go up and down while doing as much damage to them as possible and avoiding their attacks. I always kill Retinazer first because he's a lot harder to deal with alone. Um, the, the one with the fire is really easy alone because what you do is when you get him alone, which I'll do in a second here, let me see, I think I kill Retinazer really soon, let's see, come on, kill him. This fight took me like two minutes, it was so quick. So yeah, when you have uh, Mr. Fire, I don't know, Spaztism, maybe that's his name. You just go up when he's like, when he's charging at you, you just fly straight up and he won't be able to catch you. And then you drop down and you fire at him as much as you can when he is doing his fire thing. Uh, I could probably do this fight three times in a night and it's extremely easy. Now we're ready to craft the mechanical skull. The mechanical skull is crafted from 5 copper bars, 5 iron bars, 5 souls of night, 5 souls of light, and 30 bones. Okay, we're finally ready to kill Skeletron Prime. It's a lot easier than you would think. All you have to do is use the same strategy as you did for the twins. Go up and down with a mega shark and crystal bullets, and focus all of your fire into his head. You can kill the arms, but it'll make the fight a lot longer and consume a lot more ammo. Once you kill Skeletron Prime, you can make all the cool stuff that you've been seeing in the Terraria 1.1 trailers and videos all over YouTube. You can make a full Hallowed Armor set, you can make Excalibur, you can make a Flamethrower, you can make a Fairy Bell. It makes the game way easier. No more getting stomped on by the stupid mobs and the deep corruption. What I suggest doing is getting all of the cool weapons and armor from the bosses of Terraria 1.1 and then fighting all four bosses at once. That will probably be my next tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed this video, or if it helped you out, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, then head on over to Ben's Got a Boat, where me and my friend Ben post videos on Terraria, Call of Duty, and many other games. So, until next time, peace.